You're just being you. And that is attracting those collaborations. That is what attracts, the, that keeps that lovership, I call it, in your home life, in your relationship. Because it's coming from you. It's not coming from the people you work with. It's not coming from your husband or your boyfriend. Your fire, your sensual aliveness comes from you. Okay. So I'm going to share a story. So I had a client who, she, she was just, you know, she had this amazing relationship. And they were, they were 20 years together. Beautiful child, happy. And their challenge was that she was a top business success coach, you know, six-figure coach. And she was noticing when she got home at night, it was like two ships passing in the night. And they loved each other. They had great communication. They had a great relationship. But what she missed was that sensual, sexy, sexual, spiritually rich connection. Because sexuality is part of who we are. And what I like to say is that, you know, leave the sex over here. And it's time to come to that place of being spiritually penetrated, which is where that spirituality comes into your connections. And so she was missing this and longing for this. And so when they started, when we started working together, she just had this aha realizing that her drive that brought her to being a six-figure coach, her best friend, and her biggest enemy. Because most people, that's what happens. It's what sometimes makes us so successful. Yet then there's a glitch in the system. Because then it actually disconnected her from that feminine, hot, juicy place. So when she started realizing this, it was for her, she had this need of being in control. Who here has experienced like, needing to be in control? Right? <laughs> I often say it's the control is probably the one thing we're all so freaking good at. <laughs> we're pros at it. We don't need to be trained in it. Human nature. We lack trust. We might feel that we're not going to be taken care of. We have to, again, make it happen. And so she recognized these controlling principles. And so for her, it was about starting to, one, begin to clear the emotional patterns where they began early in childhood, but two, start to implement new actions into her relationship. Learning how to give up control and trust her husband to take care of that, whether it was where they were going to dinner what they were doing on their date. And it might seem so simple, but because she started catching this in, in the action while she was doing it, she one day came to me and I was like, well, so what's different in your life? She's like, wow. She started thinking about it and she's just like, it's like we're courting each other again. There's this joy and, and this, we go to bed at the same time now and we cuddle. 